Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with one I'm actually pretty excited to show today. I've always wanted to review one of these. These are probably the rarest Class C on the market anywhere. And I finally got one. Only took 20 something years, but um, here it is, guys. This is a 2001 Lazy Days. And I'm sure a lot of you have never heard of this brand. But a lot of you old time RVers like me have. And you know how rare they are. Guys, Lazy Days are not mass produced model like a Forest River or a Coachman or a Fleetwood Holiday or any, any of the other brands. In fact, they limit the, they only, they build on average less than 50 of these a year. And when you want to buy a new Class C and money is no object, you go to California, the only place you can buy them is actually at the factory in Montclair, California. They don't have dealers, they don't have distributors. The only place you can buy them is directly from the manufacturer. They don't stock them either. They have a couple of units you can test drive, but they pretty much every single one is a special order. I checked earlier today, they've been in business since 1956. The current waiting period, if you ordered a brand new Lazy Days today, which is about 140 to 150 grand, is two years before your lazy day so you order it today it'd be a 2023 model before it was built that's why you don't see these on the used market i mean these are beyond the build quality of even a born free a dynamax or a chinook and i'm going to try to show you some stuff in fact i talked to the um, customer service um, over at lazy days they're actually going to be watching for this video so they might even comment on it Guys, these are all handcrafted RVs. And this is a 2001 model. They make three different models, a 24, 27, and a 30. This is a 30. They do not build them with slide outs, not even in 2021. They still use the same fabrics, the same building process they did in 2001. So it's definitely a retro style because it looks like the colors and stuff from the 80s and 90s. But that's the way they build them, guys. That's just their calling card. And all these are handcrafted. Uh, this outside skin is not fiberglass. It is aircraft grade aluminum. Never got to worry about delamination. These things are built so well, these things don't even squeak and rattle going down the road like most Class C's do. Aluminum roof. Uh, tires look great. We just drove this thing 500 miles um, up here, and my driver couldn't stop ranting and raving. This is the best Class C he's ever driven. On a Ford E450 chassis with a 6.8 V10, 305 horsepower. Got a hitch on the back with a 5,000 pound tow capacity. And I know this thing looks older than it really is, guys. But like I said, these are handcrafted, hand built no expense spared quality rv and i know this one's not perfect it's 20 years old but still guys there's not a lower price lazy days in fact I, I there's only a couple other lazy days i could even find for sale on the internet and there was another one the same year model that was over forty thousand dollars beautiful beautiful rv and i know this isn't for everybody and you can even see look how much lower it is compared to the one beside it. This is just a Forest River Forester. Already sold, by the way. 4KW Onan gasoline generator, 266 hours. You can see the aluminum rivets, or not the rivets, but the screws that are holding this in. This thing's not gonna leak in the cab over, guys. I can't imagine how it would. Uh, got the faux windows, I guess. Best way to describe them. They're just for looks. Got an awning, crank out awning. Let's look inside, guys. And leave, leave in the comments, let me know what you think about it. Every one they build, they put the original buyer's name on it. Uh, this was originally built for the walking fuss family. I think I pronounced that right. <laughs> now guys, we did put new carpet in because after 20 years, it obviously needed it. And this is just a cool, well-built motorhome. 
you know the quality wise for those of you who've ever been on a really nice boat like a cruiser um like a sea ray or a blue water something like that and how well everything's built and how heavy it's built this is what it reminds you of and um like i said i know the colors are retro even for an 01 model but that's how they built them Seventy-seven thousand and thirty five miles power windows power locks of course everything up here does like it's supposed to do got a cb radio windshield dash front seats look great um solid hardwood cabinetry original tv from 01 so it fits perfectly of course got a c god when's the last time you've seen one of those guys cd changer now it just came in so we've got to fix a couple of the day night shades a few little odds and ends here and there but guys this thing is beautiful we've got a manual point satellite dish on the roof real hardwood floors in the kitchen area um we put a nice deep plush carpet in here that would match the quality of what was in it when it was new um i don't know what you call this material I don't know if this is like a marble, pearl, whatever you want to, I don't know what you call this stuff, guys. It's very solid, very, totally different than Corian on the countertops. 266 hours, microwave, got generator running right now, air's nice and cold on the roof. Built in under counter coffee maker, all the books and manuals are included refrigerator. The Medic Royale, which back then was a nice, is nice as one you could get. Is nice and cold. Walk toward the back. Um, they uh, didn't get finished cleaning up the inside, so they, uh, they're they gonna clean the screens and hang them back up. I like the way these closets are shaped, guys. They're kind of like hidden closets with the mirrors queen island bed these are thermal insulated windows which was pretty high tech back in 01 you've got a split bathroom man check out the wallpaper <laughs> i love it i love it guys uh the Matic traveler toilet which was the best you could buy back then elongated uh, matching countertops little shelf that folds up behind the the commode check this out this is the shower door, right? Look at this, built-in hidden closet shower door. Open this up. God, that thing's heavy. Closet, adjustable shelves, or pantry. And you go to the other side, open this up, a nice stand-up shower. Now they haven't cleaned in here yet, but um, like I said, I kinda I wanted to get this thing look posted online today. She's gonna come back in and finish cleaning it up when I'm done. But dang. I love it, guys. I love it. Very high quality. Um, I mean, like I said, this if you're looking for like a Winnebago or a Sunseeker or any of the mass-produced models, this is probably not for you. But for those of you who know Lazy Days, who know the corporation, check out their website, Lazy Days, D-A-Z-E dot com um but like i said currently a two year wait if you want a new lazy days i've got this one guys it's a 2001 with 77,000 miles we're going to do our full inspection on it make sure everything works like it's supposed to uh for 29.9 haggle free firm because i'll probably never get another one of these in again think about it guys you go look at like something like that forester they make a few thousand of those a year less than 50 total per year for a lazy days 50 and every single one that's built already has a home it's already sold to somebody somebody's already bought it picked out the fabrics picked out the colors and custom ordered it only thing they really can't change is the floor plan but that's why they have three different floor plans they have no slides never have never will 
they want their motor homes to be as strong as possible as well built as possible with no weak points so they did away with the slides not that a slide's a bad thing but you know engineering wise it is a structural weak point in any rvs a slide out and like i said guys this is beyond um the quality of a born free or a chinook this is uh this is a lazy days and guys um like i said they don't have dealerships they've been in business since 1956 not many manufacturers have been in business longer than we have and this is one of them guys we've been in business 68 they've been in business for 1956 and like i said they don't have showroom well they got two units for drivers that's it they won't sell you those units but um they do keep them for test drives so people can see the difference in the ride and drive and the overall quality. Guys, wow. Um, you even got the old original barrel chairs. Look at that. It's just a cool motorhome, guys, and I may be geeking out a little bit on it because I've always wanted to shoot one of these and never been able to buy one and found this for a for sale by owner and bought it. Uh, probably never find another one again. <laughs> uh, I mean, you never know, I hope. But um, this one's twenty nine nine, and um, wow, hey, guys. Honestly, I keep questioning myself: Can I justify buying another RV for my personal use? Because I'm really, really, like I said, geeking on this one. So, um, uh, part of me just wants to shut the video off here and go in there and pay them for it and take it home. Now, I'm not usually getting this dilemma. And I don't know why, because I've got more I can use now, but. All right, I'm not going to. Let's just let's just continue with the video. It tempting as it is, um, no. I'll, my wife would probably divorce me if I bring home something else to put in the driveway to sit. <laughs> uh, anyway. Check it out, guys. Twenty nine nine. Um, if you're interested, give us a call. There's probably not going to be much on financing. I don't even know if these are in the NADA uh, book or not. So, financing may be a little tricky on it. So, but most people that buy this kind of motorhome pays cash anyway. So, um, but if you do want to find out, ask, call, and ask the salespeople or my finance manager and they can probably give you the current finance information for no one lazy days if there's any at all um anyway guys thank y'all for watching my video i really appreciate it this one right here is a uh, um really unique and uh whoever buys this thing guys give it a good home it deserves it these things are just there's clubs that have rallies for these things it's very small clubs because they don't build many of these but wow 29.9 not taking a penny less for it if something you think you're interested in give us a call 706-965-7929 and um something you think you're interested in i would highly suggest calling before coming down because something like this especially for those who know this brand is um hey all right focus bo <laughs> you thinking shut up be in the video and buy this yourself but uh, all, right, all right all right it's for sale guys i promise 29.9 while it lasts um <laughs> oh lord uh call us 706-965-7929 um let us know what you think about it uh if you're interested in it come out and look at it come test drive it it's a nice coach probably something you won't find anywhere else on the market today thank you again for watching guys i really appreciate it make sure you check out lazy day's website check out the prices on the new ones and keep in mind those prices are on a two-year wait um and you got to go to california to get it too and they also it's cool about it is like if you've gone one of these you can actually take it back to the factory it doesn't matter what year it is they'll repair it they'll update it they'll customize it they'll do uh, pretty much whatever you want to do to it factory that's how much they stand behind their products 
and I see why after spending time in this one. I don't know how well it looks on film, but when you see this thing in person, you feel the quality in every square inch of this thing. I mean, literally, it's like a high-end yacht on wheels as far as the overall quality. And I know the colors look retro, but that's just part of owning a Lazy Days. And of course, you can always, I'm sure, recover the upholstery, um, do whatever. I wouldn't change too much because, I, I mean, these things are just so cool looking to me originally. Um, and you can make it your own, but wow. Anyway, guys, thank you again for watching. I appreciate it. Sorry, I don't mean to carry on. Um, it's just a really cool unit, really special that... Um, and I hope whoever buys this thing really appreciates it because this is something that you probably won't ever find again for this price. Uh, $29.9 while it lasts. Give us a call, 706-965-7929. If you're interested, um, uh, come out and view it. We have we take trade-ins. We have nationwide delivery available. Uh, but thank you again for watching. So make sure you smash me a thumbs up. Um, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel, comment, share on social media. This is nice, guys. I may even put it up. Uh, if I, I'll get on some Facebook groups and may post this thing on some of the Lazy Days uh, groups, which I'm sure that are on there. Anyway, guys, thank you again for watching and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.